Lucas Media. Shout out to the people who support me and the ones who hate me. If it wasn't for y'all, I wouldn't be able to do this. Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia watched episode two of their 40 days on uh, the zone and they got me hyped a couple of things that i noticed um devin haney talked about how he had to do a lot of sacrificing and being disciplined to get to where he's at the yes the best is yet still to come he looks like he's in great shape you see he's training he got a a trainer and he always has an incredible worth ethic almost or not even almost like a floyd mayweather even with ryan garcia Ryan Garcia seemed like he's out there training hard with Derrick James. And Ryan says a lot of people don't believe him. They think he's joking around, but he's taking this fight very serious. Devin, they both talked about how they had a sacrifice growing up from childhood. And Devin did say something that uh, I thought was interesting when he said that Ryan Garcia got big outside the ring and he got big inside the ring, which is true. I remember first hearing about Ryan Garcia, who is this, maybe five years ago, five, six years ago, and I didn't know who the kid was, but I know he was hanging around with Floyd, but he was signed with Golden Boy, and everybody kept talking about he's an Instagram star, he's such a star, and I'm a big, just because I'm a big believer, just like you see these players with Ball is Life and all these other mixtapes, I got to see it in the ring, just like with them, I got to see how they play on court against top talent. I got to see that in the ring. And everybody's like, oh, Ryan Hans is so fast. I'm like, yeah, but he has to fight top competition, which Ryan is a great fighter. Great fighter. And he just talked about, like, the, stre the stresses of being vi going viral and how he fought depression in the battle for the last couple of years. And I can understand that. Uh, fortunately, this, we don't understand a lot of times as older adults what it's like to grow up with social media. I was fortunate enough, and a lot of you guys were fortunate enough to not have social media as a teenager, but could you imagine being a superstar with social media at 15, 16 years old, and you too busy reading the comments, you know, and then of course you got the, the haters in there that talk about your face, they talk about your scars, they talk about, you know, what, whatever your teeth, whatever they're going to think of, and at 15, 16, 17 years old, that's hard to with to maintain you know to have that kind of resistance ryan also talked about how he gave up everything in negotiations with tank davis one thing i will give ryan his flowers on was he did concede to all tank davis demands and tank pretty much took him to the cleaners on that but i commend ryan for fighting tank davis and now devin haney even though i get on about about taking that 10 count i commend him for that and everybody was surprised even tank davis and leonard ellaby were surprised that ryan took those negotiations but ryan said he'll never do that again he's healthy at 140 devin haney moved up to 140 because he can't get any fights at 135 even though he was undisputed so, I mean, we get to see these two guys get it on. They both in their primes. I believe they got three fights apiece split in the amateurs. So, Devin has said that Ryan has always been his biggest rival and that they have been on a collision course for the last several years. So, I'm just looking forward to it. I'm sure they're going to drop another episode next week. When I drop one, I'll, I'll, let, I'll get my review. Tell me what y'all think. Do y'all like it? Do y'all not like it? Do y'all think this is good? Let me know in the comments.